guys what is going on it is saturday evening 6 p.m mountain standard time that can really mean only one thing it is retro game night tonight we're taking it back just a little bit old school like we usually do let's get into it Jerry Hill over on Facebook Gaming Buddy, thank you so much for the like and thank you so much for the comments. He says, I don't know if I ever played this game. He wants to see what it's all about. I tagged Clue Clue Land from the, the, the Nintendo Entertainment System and it's going to be one of the games that I fire up today. One of 17 games, 17 games launched with the Nintendo Entertainment System back in October of 1985 we're gonna take I don't I don't have all of the 17 games unfortunately we're gonna be taking a look at some of them though and you know 1985 was the year that Nintendo Entertainment System took the world by storm and you know it's no secret to everyone out there that the PlayStation 5 and the Series X and S X Y and Z so many letters <laughs> so many letters we're getting we're in the midst of a new console generation and I figured, you know what, why not take it back to 1985 when the Nintendo Entertainment System took North America by storm and without further ado, you know, thank, thank you guys and girls on YouTube, on Facebook Gaming and on Twitch for checking out the stream. Jerry Hill, thank you so much for the like buddy. And so, oh, I'm, I'm getting some love shown over on YouTube. Oh, nice, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Mr. Jerry Hill showing the love on YouTube and on Facebook Gaming. Much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. You know, without further ado, and like, as always, you guys and girls always feel welcome to hit up the chat. Let me know what you think about anything video game related, retro games. Let's talk about it. You want to talk about PlayStation? I'm down. You want to talk about X Xbox? Sign me up. You know, I'm down, I'm down. You know, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Okay. All right, so 17 games, 17 games released. Ivan Zambrano, thank you so much for the like, buddy. Thank you so much for the like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 1985 17 games launched with the nintendo entertainment system and we all know the big uh, two games that came with the nintendo was super mario brothers it came bundled with uh, duck hunt and it also it came with uh, uh gyro mites uh there was I, I believe there was two different bundles you could get the nintendo on its own or you could buy it uh, along with the rob the robot and Rob the Robot actually helped you play. He was the second player in the Gyromite game. In the Gyromite game. And so 17 games. We, uh, we're looking at. These are the games that came out with the Nintendo. 10 Yard Fight. This is according to Nintendo.Fandom.com. That's the website. 10 Yard Fight. Baseball. Clue Clue Land. Which I'm going to fire up in a little bit. Duck Hunt. Excite Bike. Golf, Gyromite, Hogan's Alley, Ice Climber, Kung Fu, Mac Rider, Pinball, Stack Up. Stack Up was another game that that Rob the Robot would help you would help you play. He was like the second player in that game. Of course, Super Mario Brothers, Tennis, Wild Gunman, and a Wrecking Crew wrecking crew so right now i'm this a lot of these classic games are available on the nintendo switch on the nintendo switch and we're looking right now at super mario brothers tennis was another launch game ice climber and if you notice like a oh, baseball there we go if you notice uh, a lot of the older games a lot of the launch games came in this different style of 
this different style of the game box. They were called the black label or black box. And they had like the genre sticker on the bottom left. Right here on the bottom left, they had a little genre sticker that would tell you like what kind of what type of game it was. It was like an action game or a puzzle game. And then of course we have Excite Bike. And what other games here? There's Clue 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 Land. <laughs> Clue Clue Land. That doesn't really necessarily roll off the tongue, like, <laughs> Clue Clue Land. I could just imagine back in 1985, like, hey buddy, you wanna come over and play some Clue Clue, Clue, Clue Land? <laughs> a little hard to say, just a little bit hard to say. Wrecking Crew, there we go. Man, I haven't played Wrecking Crew in forever, and I can't wait to fire that up. We're gonna take a look at, at some of these games. Let's fire up Clue Clue Land. This was one of the launch games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's fire it up. Let's fire it up. So, uh, okay, I'm supposed to collect, I'm, <laughs> wow, I just jumped right in and I didn't even really think about it. I'm trying to see where the volume's at really quick. I could have sworn I had some volume here. If I can hear it. So, uh, Jerry, did I ever try Flicky for Sega? It sounds familiar. You're like a bird collecting little bird. Oh, I think, you know, I, I want to, I want to say I've tried it when it came out for the, the Sega Genesis, like classic collection. I want to say I did try it. It sounds really familiar. Let me see, let me see if I can get the volume here really quick. Hopefully this works. There we go. Um <laughs> I actually don't know what the heck I'm doing in this game. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm a, okay, I'm sh I'm shooting with A, and I'm hooking with B. I'm hooking onto the. Oh, am I supposed to get to the? Oh, jeez, is that a cookie? <laughs> Jerry, you've never seen this game, buddy. Let me tell you, I'm starting to realize I don't think I've seen it either. Cause I in my head, I was expecting a totally different game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Oh my heavens to Betsy. Okay, you know, the control scheme is very strange. You know, you use the you use the D-pads to hook onto these things. Game over? What what the heck did I <laughs> I entered a vortex apparently. I entered a vortex and that's something I wasn't supposed to do at all. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, you know what? I, okay, okay. Okay, I think 
I'm gonna try shooting. I'm gonna try shooting these things. I feel like I need to shoot the enemies. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute now. What in the world? Okay. Oh my head. Uh, why do I keep- <laughs> I feel like I need to get to the vortex, but I realize I can't do that. Like, that ends the game immediately. <laughs> oh, I think I'm supposed to turn these things into cookies. Oh, this control scheme is so weird. I'm just supposed to- it's like Pac-Man? Or no, it's- He's constantly moving. There's no way to stop him from moving, you just... Whoa! They threw a little sneaky on me. They turned it into like a barrier of some sort. No, 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 no! Oh my god. I'm running out of time for... I don't know what I have to do to... You know, <laughs> if I spent $50 on this launch game back in the day... Oh, push it into the vortex! Jerry Hill, buddy, you are smart. You know, I didn't even think about that. Let me try pushing these little guys into the vortex. Let's go. See, the, the problem that I did there, the mistake that I did, is that I pushed myself into the vortex along with the creature. What the heck? <laughs> okay, hold, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, you know, another interesting fact about this game, okay, this, it, the copyright year of this game is 1984 is because it came out in, in for the Famicom. A lot of the launch games, the reason that the NES had so many launch games was that they took a lot of the Famicom games that came out in, in Japan and they, they ported it to the NES. So that's why, you know, the Famicom was already out in Japan. So when the NES came out in, in, the, in North America, they had a lot of games ready. They had a lot of games... They had a lot of games ready to port over. <laughs> Jerry, buddy, let me tell you, I'm laughing internally at myself right now. Like, <laughs> okay. Gosh, you know, the what messes it up is the... I can't... You're constantly moving. Like, my character is on, is on rails right now. I'm gonna... Oh, push him into the vortex. Mr. Jerry Hill has given me a hint to push these little guys into the vortex. Where did- where is it? Now they're coming out of the vortex. Now I'm just- now I'm just, uh, confused. <laughs> gotcha. Maybe I'm supposed to survive. Maybe it was like the original Battle Royale game or something. <laughs> Battle Royale 1985. supposed to unlock like a shape or something look at this it's it's making like a heart oh Ugh. okay hold up i think i i think i no 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 don't do not go into the vortex do not go into the vortex do not ah ah, ah i'm running out of time man I keep going in circles! Ah, I can't get into the last one! No! I got another chance! I got another ch Oh my heavens! Hey Miss Annabelle, how's it going? 
Oh, Jerry, I can't go through gold walls. Annabelle, thank you so much for the like. I'm over here trying to... Uh, Jerry is helping me figure out Clue Clue Land. And I think we got it. I think we figured it out. Clue Clue Land, uh, one of the original games released the same year as the Nintendo Entertainment System back in October of 1985. 1985. We're taking that back just a little bit old school. And I think we got it. I think we got what Clue Clue Land is all about. Okay. The con All right. This con hey, gosh. Ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, Nicole, thank you so much for the like! Thank you! I think this is this is shaping up to be a skull or something, I think. Or is this the heart again? I think this is the heart again. Oh my gosh, I, I can't get used to this control screen for some reason. Oh, it's the heart, it's the heart, okay. Ugh. Should have shot it. Yeah, Annabelle, this is 1980, and I keep dying. And the music is cool. I, I love this kind of music. You know that old school music. I'm digging it. It brings me back. It takes me back to a simpler time. You know, a happier time. Well, maybe not happier. I, I wasn't even alive yet, but I was negative one years old. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm telling you, this control scheme is the weirdest control scheme I've ever played in a retro game. Uh, Jerry Hill earlier mentioned Flicky, and also he says in the comments, Good thing I ain't using quarters at the arcade. I would, yes. <laughs> I would be broke. You are correct, sir. <laughs> I would be out of money. Or, you know. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, I think I'm getting the hang of it, though. Like... It feels so weird, like the 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 left D-pad controls your left arm, and then the the right controls the right arm, and you have you hook your your character, your character's constantly moving. It's constantly moving. It doesn't stop. And you the way to move around the map is you hook, you hook onto those little pegs, the little pegs on the screen. Now. I realized that you have to unlock the picture on the screen. So we're trying to unlock all the little coins and they're in the shape of a heart. They're in the shape of a heart. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, hold up. Oh my God. And then the, you know what? The D-pad's controls change. Depending on the direction you're facing. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is weird. This is weird. I... And now it's making another shape. Now I have to make another shape. Oh, it threw a little sneaky on me. Okay, I gotta just take it slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race, right? What is this? What is it? What's the? Sh what do you guys and girls think the shape is? What is it trying to make here? What's that flag? Oh! I thought I was gonna get pulled into the vortex again. How do I? I don't have no freaking. What am I? I don't know how to get into like. Oh my gosh! Why couldn't it just be like Pac-Man where I can move wherever I want? <laughs> hey! Oh, you think it's the shape of a person? All right, let's find out. Hopefully, I complete the, the picture. 
You know, I thought the biggest obstacle in this game were gonna be these little alien looking dudes, but it's really the timer and the vortex. Hey, I think Annabelle's right. I think it is a person. I think I just need one more shape. Oh no, what, what's missing? Oh gosh. I oh no. Oh no, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Ah! Yeah. I am a strong man. I am a strong man. I passed the first level of a 35 year old game. <laughs> I feel excited right now. I I feel excited right now. Okay. <laughs> oh man. What were you guys and girls doing in Oh gosh, this I'm going fast. My character's going fast now. Oh wow. You know how the heck does the difficulty escalate so quickly? Oh, my gosh. I'm going like 30, like 40 miles per hour, and I started the game with like 2 miles per hour. And, you know, this was... People playing the game back in the day didn't know what un on clutch meant, but they were on clutch, man, playing this game. <laughs> My gosh. This looks like it's gonna be a Goomba. is rough. Uklu land it's <laughs> Uklu land is no joke. This game is no joke. Two players, that's cool. It had a you know, back in the day when couch co-op was the norm, you know, you'd had the two player game mode, you were you knew that you were gonna be able to play with the person next to you on the couch, but now nowadays it's not like that, right? Like a lot of games don't offer that couch co-op option. But back in the day, you best believe that there was a lot of couch co-op uh, co games going on. Okay, so Clue Clue Land, let's, let's take a look at another launch game from back in the day. And that would be Excite Bike. Gosh, Excite Bike was was a fun game. I I remember playing that for hours. Uh, this Nicole Henderson on Facebook Gaming says that's true. That's what makes retro games great. Yeah, you know, exactly. With retro games, you you knew that you were able to play two players, and now it's like everything's online. You know, it's a little you're a little more distance a lot more distant with your it's still fun it's still fun but there's nothing like playing two players on the same tv with your with your amigo or significant other so another game excite bike oh man i haven't played excite bike in forever it's been quite a bit of time where is it there it is so this one came out as well back in October of 1985 alongside the North American release of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Excite Bike. Who, who, who remembers Excite Bike? <laughs> My brother used to make mixes out of the Excite Bike tunes. <laughs> He used to make music using like 8-bit Nintendo games and stuff. It was pretty cool. Alright, let's jump into it.
Nicole, thank you so much for the like as well over on Facebook Gaming. And thank you guys and girls for checking out the stream over on YouTube and on Twitch. Thank you. Thank you. Check out these tunes, though. How do I play it? Oh. Oh, the levels. Oh, you could choose the level to start on. Start off on. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. You know, this is probably me in real life. I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh! Go, 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 go. Uh. Ah! Come on, man. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! It's all in the wrists, I think. It's all in the... I don't know why I said, said it's all in the wrists. That makes no sense at all. I'm just trying not to wreck here, man. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's, it's trying to... It's... This game is it's raising my blood pressure. <laughs> this game is raising the blood pressure. Oh wow. Oh. Whoa. Let's get some sweet air hang time, man. Yeah. Oh. Totally red. Epic fail, bro. There ain't nothing like the sound of the motor running and not knowing what ob obstacles will come in my way. And when you cross that finish line, the feeling is oh so sweet. Yeah! <laughs> oh man. You know, you could also design your own track. Did you guys and girls know that? Like, you could design it. Like, this is insane. 1985. And this thing had a level, cre I mean, a level creator of sorts. It's crazy. But it was a thing. Like, you would, you would put, like, what obstacles you wanted. I mean, this is a, this is a level creator. You know, a very, very uh, old school version of a level creator. With excite bike, <laughs> taking it back old school just a little bit. And thank you guys and girls so much for the likes and the comments and the shares. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Whoa! 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 Yeah, Jerry Hill Excite Bike. 
This was another NES launch game. Oh, it just, it just starts you right off. It doesn't wait. It doesn't really wait. It just starts you right off at the next course. Ow. I was saying earlier how, like, this game is, like, it feels like me in real life not knowing how to ride a bike too well. Yeah, Jerry, yeah, man, I was I was saying how like it's so cool that this game has a level of uh, a course creator. That's so insane, you know? Like 1985 and there was a level creator in this game. It's insane. It's insane. This uh, is bringing back a lot of memories of Rad Racer, also. Rad Racer, ooh-wee. Let me tell you, Rad Racer, I had much fun playing Rad Racer. You know, me and my brother didn't get Rad Racer up until like, well, I wasn't old enough to really play it up until like 92, but I remember playing the heck out of Rad Racer. Celebrate with some Mountain Dew. <laughs> Jerry says there was a there was a game where you are in a boat saving people. Can't remember game name. It was fun. I remember a cowboy game too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh gosh, you know that cowboy game? I think I read it out right now as one of the launch games. I'm not sure though. Was it Hogan's Alley or Wild Gunman? Those are two games that are I'm seeing here on. Nintendo.fandom.com. It has a list of the launch games, and Wild's Gunman and Hogan's Alley were two of them. Road Rash, Jerry. Yeah, the it was the the bike game on the Sega Genesis. On the Sega Genesis, it was a. Uh, I want to say it was EA Sports because it had that little yellow tab on the cartridge, and the EA Sports game had that. EA Sports games had the little. Had the little yellow tab on the side. I, 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 the game was cool. That game was fun. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the game selection. Let's look at another game that was a launch game. Back in 1985. And this was Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew was another launch title. Walking down a dirt road, shooting left and right cowboy game. Oh, cool, cool. I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look it up, man. It sounds it sounds familiar. Zudi, Zudi has hit up the chat. How are you? Almost us. He says, Fast and the Furious in the Nintendo Gold Era. That's right. That's right. You know, Excite Bike. Excite Bike was the Fast and the Furious 1985 style. <laughs> 1985 style. This was Wrecking Crew back in 1985. Let's wreck. Let's wreck some stuff, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I haven't, I've actually never really played this game, ever. <laughs> I just blew myself up, because I'm the bomb. <laughs> oh! Zudi says, I love El Pinguino. Pinguino. Da, 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 da. El Pinguino del Artico. Oh! Ice Climbers! Ice Climbers? I feel hardcore today. <laughs> yeah, right. When I'm trying to 
play those older games when I'm just jumping into an old game I've never played before. Sudi, thank you so much for the like. Thank you so much for the like. And Jerry Hill says Paperboy was fun. I remember Paper Paperboy. Yeah, Paperboy was fun. I remember playing it on the Game Boy. That was a bit a, a bit of a rough experience, but on the Nintendo it was fun. What are these? These are the original Fall Guys! They're after me! Ah! What am I supposed to do? Wreck them? Hey! Skater die! Jerry Hill, skater die! Man, I never figured out how to play that game. I, didn't, I never figured out how to play that game. with this bomb oh gosh no 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 Mario's looking a little a bit different in this game Mario's looking a bit different in this game this is not the Mario I know this Mario has blue hair it's like the rock it's the rocker Mario yo oh am I supposed to I'm not supposed to hit the bomb. I've learned that. Don't hit the bomb. Yeah, Jerry Hill, you and me, you and me both, buddy. <laughs> it's the first time I fire it up in, e in forever. Why do I keep doing that? Why do I? These are the original Fall Guys. They look like Fall Guys. <laughs> okay, let's see. I feel like this is like where Wreck-It Ralph got the premise from. Hey! Oh! What the? It's like... Ah! They're coming back for me! I felt it was like lemmings. I thought it was gonna be over when they. It is, it is nostalgic, right, Zudi? Very nostalgic. This music, I can jam to it all day. This this has a design thing too. That's crazy. Still, I'm. Um, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm supposed to just destroy all this stuff. Oh, Kid Icarus, that is bringing back some memories. Definitely, Jerry. Definitely, Kid Icarus. Very nostalgic. Very nostalgic game. I wonder when that one came out. I'm pretty sure it didn't come out too, too later after the NES. Probably like in the launch window. Okay, so I'm supposed to just wreck. <laughs> you know, with a game called Wrecking Crew, I guess that's pretty self explanatory. You just gotta wreck everything in sight. Back up there. Ah, fireball. You want me to play Tank Battalion? 
I don't think I have tank battalions, do you? Was that on Nintendo? Because, like, right now I'm playing the games that are on the Nintendo Online... Nintendo Switch Online? What the? I can't jump! How, how, how am I... <laughs> How am I Mario and, and I, I can't jump? What's going on there? What's happening right now? Jerry Hill says Marble Madness, 1984. Oh. Oh. Taking it back just a little bit. Oh. You played it 30 years ago. Yeah, you know, it's been that long. It has been that long. Uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System turns 35 next month. Turns 35 next month. And uh, I think it's 36 for Japan, because Japan got the NES a year before North America. No, you're not oldie. You know, I, I, I'm about, I'm 34, I'm 34, so, you know, I think it's a good age because we're all, we're all experiencing the many generations of gaming, you know, like, it's such a cool time to be a gamer right now. We're, we're like in the midst of like a really, really cool new generation of gaming and it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting and I can't wait to share, a, I got some stuff coming down the pipe. And I can't wait to share it with y'all. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be cool. And thank you so much for checking out the stream, you guys and girls. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, I oh I miss I missed uh I think I I think there's no way to go back up. You just have to reset it. Okay. That's wrecking crew. What was another another launch title here? Jerry Hill says he thinks he started playing back in 88, 89, and you were born in 84. That's cool, man. That's cool. You know, I, I feel with, with the Nintendo Entertainment System, like, let me know how, how you all feel about this. But for me, it was such a huge shift. And it led to, the you know, without the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System literally saved gaming. Okay, it literally saved the popularity of gaming. And I'm, I say that because back in uh, the early 80s, we had the video game crash. And people weren't buying the Ataris anymore. They weren't buying other consoles. But when the NES came out and they introduced the world to these games, you know, this was unlike anything that Atari was putting out at the time. Atari had a lot of different games, but they all played the same, you know? It all had like a Galaga uh, feel to it they all had like a a pong feel to it and of course we all know about we all know about the atari game that people really don't like which is et right zooty your birthday is on tuesday happy early birthday happy early birthday happy early birthday 
the 29th okay happy early birthday what are you gonna do for your birthday Zudi? what are you gonna do for your birthday and so i really feel that nintendo saved gaming in general you know i i really do feel that without the nintendo entertainment system we wouldn't have the popularity of gaming that we have right now it, it kept the genre it kept the medium so relevant to everybody it kept the, the medium very relevant to everybody and you know it led to sega wanting to compete with them and they came out with their own gaming system and you know of course sony so without i i really feel in my heart that without nintendo we wouldn't have all the awesome gaming systems and companies that we have today okay which one else are we gonna ice climber was a, a launch title Ice climber. Jerry was Jerry Hill was a Sega player more than Super Nintendo. Yeah. Which one was your? What was your favorite Sega game? Do you remember? Hey Jerry, do you remember all the? commercials that sega came out with like the sonic commercials where they were like basically saying they were cooler than nintendo and nintendo at the time was marketing themselves towards like a younger generation and sega came in and they were like we're gonna be the cool ones we're gonna be the hip ones and sonic came out and 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 they did a lot of commercials with sonic i do remember that when i was younger man <laughs> I was a, I was a wee little lad back then. What is that bird stealing a? Uh, what is that? A vegetable? <laughs> like a, a vegetable of some sort. Zudi, yeah, Sega commercials were aggressive. They were like in your face. And if you guys and girls ever YouTube Sega Genesis commercials, man, get ready. Get ready for <laughs> it is fun looking at those commercials. Zudi, I, I remember you said you like baking. Did you bake anything today? Did you bake anything today? It, yeah, Zudi, Nintendo. <laughs> Sega Genesis, what was it? Sega Genesis does what Nintendo. <laughs> and Jerry Hill says he was hooked on Aladdin, Lion King. Those were cool games. Did you see that they re-released them? Whoa. I'm jumping like a Mario over here. Ah! Jerry Hill says, Super Nintendo had Bubsy. Oh, yeah, Bubsy. There you go. Man, Bubsy. I remember renting uh, Bubsy on, from a local rental store. And I remember having so much fun with it. Those were the games. I also... I for, you know, Jerry Hill, like, I, I just, when you said Sega, I, I immediately remembered Vector Man. Vector Man came out, like, in 95, towards the end of the, it was, like, 94, 95. It was, like, one of the last games for Sega Genesis, but it was so fun. I remember that game. It was hard. Oh, they reached the top? Oh, here in Ice Climbers? Ah. Ah. Why is it taking me forever? Thank goodness that it's, there's no time limit. Ah. 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 Oh, we got a bonus stage! Oh, 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I fell. Zudi says the mini NES. Oh, do you have the mini NES? Do you guys and girls have the mini NES? have eyes on them, you know? Ah, ah, ah. I want to jump like I'm Mario, but I'm not Mario. Ah. I jump weird. I <laughs> I jump that I'm like I'm ready to free fall into oblivion. Danny Gustinio, thank you so much for the like, buddy. How are you doing? Destination. These <laughs> icicles, the icicle almost got me. Oh, oh Zudi says Ridley's waiting on the top. Oh my, I, I know. <laughs> I hope not. I don't got my, I don't got my ice gun. I don't got my my various suit. <laughs> Danny Gustanion says, Dane awesome. And how am I doing? You playing the Super Nintendo Mini? No, I'm playing on the the Switch, the Switch uh, Nintendo Switch Online. They have like these older games on it. Yeah, Danny, we were talking about how, you know, we have a new generation of consoles releasing soon, and I, I thought it'd be kind of fun to take it back old school and look at some of the games that the Nintendo Entertainment System launched with. Hey! That the Nintendo Entertainment System launched with back in October of 1985, buddy! It's this attention to detail. Like, check this out. You know, you, your your character slips on this ice, and it was that attention to detail that I think really, really separated the Nintendo apart from the consoles like Atari and you know, the older uh, systems from the '80s. Because I mean, these games, you know, they they play different, they feel different. You know, it's so much different. It's so much different. And I now I'm just trying to get to the top over here. And I don't know. I'm scared of the icicles. I'm scared of the icicles. Oh, there I go. There I go. It's hammer time. 
time. It is hammer time! Hey, what are those? Oh, they're lettuce. Or cabbages. It's a... Ah, very carb-friendly bonus stages. Danny says first game he ever played was the duck shooter with the sad dog. Oh, duck hunt. Yeah, buddy. You know, I remember... Uh, did you ever cheat in that game and, like, hold the gun, like, right on the TV? <laughs> that's because that's what I used to do. I'll admit it. <laughs> my, t my old school TV had, like, all these scratches on it from the gun. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... I'm like, come on, T tell me, Danny, tell me you did it too, man. Tell me I wasn't the only guy that did it. You know, if, uh, uh try play, try playing Duck Hunt on a new HD TV, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, unfortunately, so you have to play it on a, an older TV, the CRT TVs. Get away from me, bird. Buddy, how's your night going? How's your night going, man? We're taking it back just a little bit old school, like we usually do on Saturday evenings. I'm trying to get up this this hill. <laughs> I say, what is up, broski? Jesse, bro, bro, cool glasses, man. I'm digging those. Oh, I fell. I got so excited that I fell. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't. I didn't notice. I didn't recognize your profile pic. That's cool, man. Looking fly. Looking chill. That's awesome. Ice climber. Ice climber. Okay, so we played. We played uh, Wrecking Crew. We played Ice Climber, X Sight Bike, and Clue Clue Land. Four of the games that launched alongside the Nintendo, the NES, back in 1985. And, you know, we are, next month is the 35, 35th year that the NES has been in North America. And it's going to be, you know, Nintendo. May, you know, maybe they'll celebrate it in one way or another. I know that they're coming out with that Game & Watch. So maybe that's one way that they'll be doing it. Jesse says, I copied you. Oh, no, man. Or with the... Bro. You know... You gotta look fly. You gotta look cool. And I'm digging it. Danny! With the whoop whoop. Alright, let's look at another game here. Let's see what other... Okay. So, I'm looking at the website nintendo.fandom.com and, and according to this website, 17 games launched alongside the NES in North America, and that was 10 Yard Fight, Baseball, Clue Clue Land, Duck Hunt, Excite Bike, Golf, Gyromite, Hogan's Alley, Ice Climber, Kung Fu, Mac Rider, Pinball, Stack Up, Super Mario Brothers, Tennis, Wild Gunman, and Wrecking Crew. And Wrecking Crew. Let's look at, I know this has some of those sports games. Let's look at, does this have golf? Uh, this has, this is different. This is not, not, I can't talk. I'm getting hyped. NES Open. This was a different golf game for the Nintendo. Juan Ramirez, thank you so much for the like, man. Thank you so much for the like. I am feeling the love tonight. Thank you so much. Jesse Bendicourt, fashion icon here. 
Yeah. <laughs> Zudi says, "Yo tenía el cartucho con los tres juegos." Oh, you had the. It was the pack. It was the. Was it the one with the Rob the robot? Oh no. Oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. It had Super Mario Brothers, the arcade version, and Super Mario Brothers, the NES version, and Duck Hunt. Was that the one? It had like a gray label, kind of orangey a little bit. I can't describe things at all. <laughs> I can't describe things at all. Let's look at... Uh, which game? Oh, uh, baseball? Was baseball one? Danny says, I was saying... I can't talk! Maybe I have, because I haven't had my energy drink. Uh, Danny says, I was saying a story about the see-through purple controller last time. And, oh, dude, I, <laughs> I didn't finish that story. <laughs> I didn't finish that story. You know, uh, it's a crazy story. I'll make it really short. I, me and my brother got the Nintendo 64 and my neighbor, you know, was also a good friend of mine and he came over and, you know, I think thinking back at it now, I think he was a little bit jelly, just a little bit jelly that I had the N64 because, you know, the N64 was another like airy launch console that's come out in it ever, <laughs> except for the, no, even the Wii U was hard to find. Launch co consoles are hard to find early on in the in the release cycle you know and the nintendo 64 was no exception you know i we found an, an n64 that had the purple see-through controller that was like a toys r us exclusive and my friend comes over and he's like at first oh like you know he's like oh that's cool man that's cool well like this dude's drinking a coke like a coca-cola and and he's drinking it and I saw him, man. He purposely, like, freaking, like, started busting out laughing, and he spills the soda on the controller. He sp he spills the soda on the N64 controller, a brand new launch see-through purple N64 controller. And the stick, well, me and my brother had to open it up. But you know, to this day, and I'll tell you what, if I ever see him, I'm gonna. <laughs> Give him one of these where he sneezes. Doesn't make any sense. Duty says the three in one Super Mario, Duck, Duck Hunt, and Olympic Games. Oh, oh yeah, Zudi, I remember now. It had the Olympic Games. You're right. You're right. You're okay. That's so cool. And Juan Ramirez says that's that's beat. <laughs> yeah, man. You know. It was just one of those things, but but I remember Danny was was telling me last last week we were playing uh, Super Mario sixty four and he mentioned the controller. <clears throat> Zudi, I do remember. Yeah, the Olympic rug. You would run on it, right? With the numbers, you would run on the, and it was like the Olympics game, and your character would run. It was like Dance Dance Revolution from back in the day. <laughs> I used to use my hands to pretend it was my feet. I was like, tick, 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 tick. <laughs> I like talking about games with you guys, man. This is cool. This is fun. I'm digging it. Digging it. Let's see. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and go out with uh, one more game here. One more game. Let's see.
All right, tennis was a launch game. So tennis, I think I saw it here. Just play a quick little round of tennis before I call it a night. Guys and girls, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Retro Game Night. Jesse says you mi Hey, Sudi, take care. Oh, Sudi says, well, I'm going to have tacos for dinner with extra spicy habanero guacamole. Hey, send some over. <laughs> That's making me a little bit hungry. Zudi, that sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you so much for coming by. Jesse says you miss the middle school sometimes. Bro, let me tell you, man. Oh, Zudi, you're welcome. And happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. If I don't get to talk to you on, on, on Tuesday, happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing one. I hope you have an amazing one. Danny says, my PS2 controller went through the most. Oh, rip. Man. What happened to your PS2 controller? Was it just like wear and tear or what? Yeah, too much fun, Danny. Yeah, man, I hear you, man. I hear you. I, I was looking at my my uh, Nintendo, um, the SP, the my Game Boy SP. I was looking at it the other day, and that thing has been through so much. But man, the memories that you have, you know, I get a lot of, I get really nostalgic really easily. And I look at like the older consoles, man, and I get emotional. <laughs> I legitimately get emotional because all these memories like flood back, man, you know, a lot of memories, man. Okay. Faults. Whose fault is that? My fault. Let's go. Come on. Come on. In. That wasn't in. This is game is rigged. The game is rigged. Hey! Hey, hold up. Hold up. It's all in the wrists. It's all in the wrists. And it's all in the serve. Come on now! Let's go! What? Oh! My depth perception is not good right now. Jesse says the battery in my old Pokemon cartridge died. Oh no! Oh man, no way, dude. My gosh, man. I hope you had a backup of your Pokemon one way or another. This is how fast I am. I'm moving and my legs ain't moving. Oh, there they go. Oh. I'm floating like a butterfly. Gosh. You know, I, I remember the, the tennis game on... Mario Tennis was fun. Mario Tennis was fun. Yeah, that's right, buddy. I scored. I scored. Yeah, 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 that's how you do it. Oh no, Jesse says the monsters died. No, Danny 
Danny says he traded a Game Boy Advance color, uh, color and N64 for your cousin's PS2 back in middle school. Wow. That that's like that sounds like GameStop. <laughs> that sounds like GameStop, but I think you would have to trade two of each. Two of each. You know? And then, oh, like a hundred. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, why do I keep? Oh, there we go. There we go! Yeah, that's right, buddy! Oh! I'm up! You needed that DVD player? Oh, yeah! That was a big selling point for the PS2, right? The DVD player? Man, I remember that. Oh, come on. Yeah. Let's go, man. You want to play tennis? Let's play some tennis, buddy. Ah. He got me. hitting me isn't that like a fault or something oh that's my fault right i don't know much about tennis though jesse <laughs> rick thank you so much for the like thank you so much for the like Oh man, I was in. No, it, it was it was out. It was out. <laughs> a double fault? How do you get a double fault? I didn't know that was possible. Okay, uh, uh, here gotta serve. I'm getting this dub. This is the real, this is the real test. If you can win at, at tennis on the NES, you know. Oh gosh, I didn't have enough momentum. Oh man, uh, have you guys ever played tennis on the NES? It's a little bit rough. It's just a little bit rough. Like, it's probably fun, uh, funner for two players, right? You know, this is a. Uh, it probably would be funner to play this than 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 pong, <laughs> perhaps. Look at that! It's a clean sweep. Computer has won. Without a shadow of a doubt. Oh man. Guys and girls, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Retro Game Night. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Thank you guys and girls for the love. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. And thank you for the follows. Latest follower on Facebook, Mariano Dominguez Cruz. And the latest follower on YouTube. Thank you so much. A light beam 23. Much appreciated. And without much else left to say, stay safe, stay awesome.
You're cool. <laughs>